the Department of Justice is investigating Alabama's prison system. Conditions are so bad there that inmates organized a strike that spread nationally into what's believed to be the largest prison strike in U.S. history. 24,000 prisoners in at least 12 states refused to work or refused to eat. You probably haven't heard much about it, because for the most part, people in the outside world have no idea what's happening behind prison walls. But Antonia Hilton was able to speak with someone on the inside. We're waiting to speak to Kinetic Justice, who's a prisoner in solitary confinement at Holman Prison in Alabama. Hey, what's good, what's good, how you doing? His real name is Robert Earl Council. 21 years ago, he was convicted of murder, sentenced to life. He called us from home in prison on a contraband cell phone, almost a month after he helped organize an inmate strike. What conditions were you responding to? This environment is very, very hostile, and it was created this way. It, the conditions were so horrific and deplorable that sewage was actually coming up into the dormitories. Uh, the walls were falling in, the rusted pipe and uh, trash was visible. We've had three uh, suicides back here in the last year. It's hours later before they actually find these people hanging. Holman is a maximum security facility at 150% prisoner capacity, operating with less than 50% of the intended staff. It's going down in this bit, man. Look at this shit. I'm getting y'all cold, Luke, and In March, there were two riots in four days. Then in September, an officer was killed. That's when the corrections officers, the people in charge of keeping this place safe, stopped showing up. About a dozen either quit or went on leave. Kurt Sidham is one of them. He left after two years at Holman. You're always on edge because you don't know which corner you're gonna walk around that there's gonna be someone with a knife or you may walk around and find somebody laying on the ground stabbed up. There's just not enough eyes around the whole place to watch it. Over the two years that you were at Holman Prison, how would you describe the environment? Did it change at all? It got worse. It's just, it, it's a ticking time bomb. Kurt and others we spoke with said they worked in constant fear for their lives inside Holman. Uh, these are different weapons I collected while I was at the prison. It's um, huge. Yeah, that, that looks real scary from a distance. But when you get a little closer, it's, but it's the intimidation factor. And that particular inmate chased, I think it was three officers, chased them back into a queue and had control of the floor. Um, there would be days I would collect garbage bags full of these type of weapons. Is there any overlap between the current um, prisoner strike? As far as them orchestrating it together, no. But they do have all of the same concerns. Now the Department of Justice wants to know what's going on inside. Last week, they announced an investigation into Alabama's men's prison system. Maria Morris is a lawyer at the Southern Poverty Law Center. They are filing their ninth lawsuit against the Alabama Department of Corrections. The conditions in Alabama prisons are atrocious. Last spring, there were these riots at Holman. The thing that really sparked it off in the prison was that you had a dormitory of over 100 guys with three working toilets. People can't live like that. We asked for an interview with Alabama Department of Corrections Commissioner Jeff Dunn but a representative denied our request. He did acknowledge that inmates had stopped working, but refused to call the officer's absences a strike. We went with Kurt to Montgomery, where he was meeting with the commissioner. You know, strike is a, is a strong word, but that's really what they're doing. I mean, in their own terms, it's a peaceful protest. Kurt is optimistic there will be change, but it may be a long time before it affects those on the inside. Granted, there are some people uh, in prison that you know, have done things that probably are unspeakable. These are human beings that are incarcerated, people who may have made a mistake here or there in life, but they are human beings. And then we can never take out of the equation our criminal justice system. 